physics guys um i just wanted to to go over i'm gonna you know give you a little mini quiz tomorrow and uh as silly as it sounds i just wanted to show you what my videos look like when i go ahead and do this so um it's real silly i'm gonna give you something that shows you this oh long pen it's not thick enough. Anyway, there's a triangle. And what does that mean? What does that mean? What do we call it? Right? And then I'll have a space just like you did the other day. I'm going to make you do the exact same thing. And I apologize for making you do the, the exact same thing. But the good news is, since you're doing the exact same thing you just did, you're going to tell me, hey, Mr. Sokol, that is a delta. And then I'm going to have the other line there, right? I'm going to have the other line. And what does it mean? Uh, it means, Mr. Sokol, it means change or change in. Change in. Well, great. Um, and then the next question is going to be, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll again give you the formula for uh, a time interval. With delta T equals TF minus TI. Okay? And then you're going to have to just give me the, the English translation. Oh my god, that's a horrible line. So why don't I just draw a line? And there's a straight line. And what you'll do is you'll write on the line, uh, change, oops, I apologize, because I am silly. Uh, change in time. Is, let's see, equal sign. Um, final time minus initial time. And of course, I'm going to do the same thing for delta. D, right, D final minus D initial. And you're going to write the same thing. Same thing, but instead of saying time, you're going to say distance or displacement. That's more, that's proper for physics, right? The same thing, but you're going to say displacement instead of time. Uh, the last thing we talked about was, um, and you're just going to write it again, uh, what's the difference between a motion diagram and a particle model? Uh, let's try this. Uh, what is... Difference between a motion diagram and particle model. And you're going to say a uh, motion diagram has, I mean, you're going to list one background, and series of, whoops, 
series of pictures. in equal time intervals. And then you'll say the, I don't like that color, let's try yellow. And that's the motion diagram. So then you'll say the particle model is the same, but replace the pictures. with dots. Sound good? And there you go. I mean, five simple questions uh, or four questions, but, you know, I'll give you a, a, a quick 10 points for it. Um, I may ask one more subjective question, which means you get to tell me in your own words what we were doing on the track um, and what the difference between uh, distance and displacement is uh, by giving me the example of us walking around the track. And that, that's really it. So we're good to go and you'll be great for tomorrow. And then we'll do more learning. But I just wanted to show you this video. This is how I'm going to give you information from time to time. Thanks, guys.